Hey YouTube, I wanted to take a quick break and address what I call the uh, the paradox of automation or the automation paradox. I mentioned it in my uh, last video. And so as an automation engineer, and I've confirmed this with uh, other infrastructure engineers and automation engineers, there's this trend where nothing happens. And I mean nothing, no productivity, nothing gets done until it's until the automation work is done and then everything happens all at once. And so, for instance, you might spend days, weeks, or months working on an automation product or project uh, or script or whatever, uh, some kind of automation engine, and you have a test environment and nothing happens you know, in production, nothing meaningful happens out in the real world, and you test and you test and you test and then you know other stakeholders the general public your managers directors whatever they don't see anything happening but then once the automation is done and tested and you turn it on all of the work happens all at once and that's what we're seeing that's what we're ramping up to with agi and i didn't realize that this was going to be how it played out because viewing this as fundamentally an automation problem made it make a lot more sense in my mind. And so as we're building like fleets of autonomous agents and, and laying all the groundwork, it's going to be like you get all the you get the you get the swarm set up, you get the autonomous uh, swarm set up, you get the hierarchy set up and you test it and you test it and you test it and you give it tools. You make sure that they can write tools and use tools and find APIs and document APIs. And, and you know that the swarm that the agents can create each other and deprovision each other that's going to take a lot of work but then as soon as it's done you're literally going to have entire companies that are fully automated by these swarms of agents now as a lot of people are pointing out in the comments the token count is cost is still going to be a little bit prohibitive they're still cheaper than humans so even if it takes 50 100 a thousand dollars an hour to run these things that's still like they're still getting as much work done as you know a thousand humans or a hundred humans um and they're getting it done faster so it's still going to be cost effective once these things pan out now yes they are going to be expensive and i'm sure the uh open ai servers will have a meltdown if you try and run a million of these agents at once or a billion at once they're not going to be able to keep up but um we are seeing um what's all, what's called javon's paradox which is basically that the cheaper that something gets the more it's used because of latent or unmet demand. So anyways, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to touch on the, 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 parado the paradox of automation and say, like, just wait. Like, when the other shoe drops in 6 to 12 months, it's going to be like, oh yeah, this was AGI all along. Um, yeah, so it's, <laughs> this is a good time to be, to be paying attention. Um, and I'm very optimistic that it's going in the right direction, at least from a technological standpoint. Um, I ran a poll and there was a lot of people uh, that by and large agreed that the biggest risk is going to be uh, elite power consolidation. So we'll see if, uh, see if we can prevent that from happening um, or at least mitigate it, uh, the, the negative downsides, uh, namely through open source. So anyways, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Cheers.